I'm glad to see you guys appreciate the shoutouts. But, more importantly, back to the game. Okay, as if I'm trying, aka Chase, the Protoss player against Dreamer, the Protoss player, and we're on Delta Quadrant this time. We're going to have to have a bit of a, a intro when we get into the game. Um, just, I think we're going to leave it to, to my co-caster, Gridlock, to give us uh, the positions of these players and their names. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I hear you. I hear you smirking. I can, I can see exactly what you're looking like in my mind right now. And I don't mean that in any funny ways, but uh, I know you're getting amped. Uh, to, to tell us who this Protoss is spawning at the bottom right hand position in Delta Quadrant. Yeah, spawning at the bottom right in Delta Quadrant is. A super train! <laughs> Brilliant. And our, our, um, our other competitor. On the bottom left of Delta Quadrant is. Dreamer! Good stuff, brilliant. Um, I don't know if you can hear this, but I'm 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 clapping for you right now. That's just, it feels like like the GSL up in here, guys. Just like the GSL down in South Africa, we've got some good competitions too. Okay, so um, <laughs> both these guys. Let's have a look at these spawns. So, what do you think these spawns mean for this game? I mean, uh, this is pretty close. Uh, yeah, close spawns again. Um Last game, Shay's trying something that's, uh, I, I guess it's not uh, what he usually does. Uh, he went, what did he go, two, three gates and then a robotics facility. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to see him get back up to his uh, normal four gate and uh, see if he can pull one back now on Dreamer. Yeah, it, it probably would be the best thing. And on a map like this, um, once again, this map has these, these second natural expansions that are uh, sort of protected by these destructible debris. Um, and... Uh, you know, it's interesting, players don't often expand there because it does take quite a bit of time to take down that debris. Um, but should you find an extra minute or two with some idle zealots or stalkers, you can definitely take that down and expand there. But then again, that expansion is so close um, as the crow flies. So, um, yeah, these guys, I don't know if expanding would be the best idea in a game like this on a map like this. So I think we're going to see one base, uh, four gate from, from both these players, and it's just going to come down to who does it better. Uh, Chase, uh, with a good um, scout, right in the beginning, able to find Dreamer first time. Dreamer actually went to all of the other places first before he found Chase. <coughs> yeah, interestingly enough, uh, yeah, it, he's, he's already in his base, though, pounding away at that pylon. This <laughs> seems to be the same thing every single game. Chase's just ignoring that for now. He doesn't care, because, um, as we always say, the builds look exactly the same in the first three to four minutes. So... Um, uh, I still I'll stick with my prediction that we're going to see a one gate build from both these uh, one base build from both these guys. Uh, it'll be interesting to see who cracks first and and throws up the early tech. Now I'd like to see uh, I'd li as I said I'd like to see see Chase with a four gate putting pressure on mm -hmm. uh, to Dreamer. Yeah, and I, I gotta say I think that might be a lot more effective. I mean he does that so well, and we all know that. Um, and here's Dreamer just spreading his pylons around his, um, the back of his base, around the second natural I was talking about, right next to that destructible debris. Um, not taking any chances, because that's such a nice place to put on a proxy pylon and warp those, uh, those units in from. But um, then again, on a map like this, there are so many other sneaky little positions that you can use. Chase is uh, boosting his warp, warp gate technology out, as is Dreamer, and they are both... Uh Pretty much on the same level with regard to that. Chase's four gateways are going up. They should be done by the time the warp gate's finished. Interesting stuff. So Chase is the first one to throw down the four gateways. That's that's pretty significant. And um, it seems like Chase uh, definitely got hands in his pants at the moment. He's running up and down with a zealot. He doesn't quite know where to put it. Um, but uh, once there's a few more friends for that zealot, once there are a few more units out there, he's probably going to put them up in Dreamer's base. Chase putting a pylon. Oh, he was about to put that pylon down. And he spotted Dreamer's pylon. <laughs> Ooh, that was really close. Oh, but he decides to go for the slightly more cocky route instead. He throws it down right there in sight of Dreamer's pylon. I'm switching to Dreamer's view right now. Dreamer can see that pylon going down. What do you think the objective is of that? Uh, personally, I think that's a little decoy. Uh, he's going to bring his units out take that pylon down while Chase has got another one just a bird further back. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, maybe he just wanted the side so he could warp in around the back of Chase's base. He's got a bit of freedom ahead of him right now. I mean, he can go in any way he wants. So Chase moving into Dreamer's base with two Zealots there. Ooh, he loses one slightly carelessly, slightly needlessly. And uh, Chase manages to take down Dreamer's pylon across the little chasm. Yeah, well, the, the nice thing to note now is that Chase has got vision on the other side of that chasm. Mm. So uh, Dreamer's going to have some trouble. So guys, this is the pincer. We're about to see the pincer. Um, as if I'm trying, Chase is attacking from both sides. There come some Zealots from the back. He's going to cut uh, Dreamer off from behind. Nice job by Chase there. Interesting move. Here comes the support. The, the, the force field has finally died out. Interestingly enough, Chase leaves a, a Zealot to attack that Robo facility. I'm not sure if that's the best idea. He might have wanted that to support the rest of his army against Dreamer's units here. I think he wants to try and cut that down. Oh wow, we see the GG from Dreamer already. Oh, that's it. He's not even going to waste time trying. 